Yo, what's good? Okay, this, it's okay with Sabi from Foster Rush Fortune City Factor, the hooded skin and just die in between the magic cloud. The clouds are too close to the ground, so we all touch the sky. And I'm not alone. I'm actually with Simon Banza from the north of Johannesburg. Actually, we have to work on that. I have to, I really have to work to on that. Anyway, we're back with another video. I'm so sorry we've been away for the past two weeks. Hey guys. Tough schedules. Tough, tough, tough. Very tough schedules, but we promise we are going to be on the ball now. Yes. There's even a secret new segment that yeah. we're planning for as early as next week. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned, like a radio station. I'm going okay, no, no, no. to give it to you. Hi, yeah, one's net. Yeah. But today, we're back with another video. Yeah. Exciting topic, because this is a topic that you guys like to DM us all the time on Ask Us Every Day on Gala All the time, for the past four years, the past five years of my YouTube career, Literally, it, it, once a week I will get a DM that says Sibyl, uh, one, I love your work, and I'm like, thank you so much. Uh, but also, what is the best camera for a new vlogger? What is the best camera for a new vlogger next week? What is the best vlogger? What is the... For four years, guys, that is all I have heard. And normally I'll only give you one camera, the camera that I have. But now, what are we doing? We're doing a top five list of the best cameras for a beginner YouTuber to start with in South Africa. Cool. So, you, whenever you ask us this question, hey, yeah. what camera should I buy for my first channel or first you, this is the list I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send you this link so yeah. you can see. The cameras here in this list are gonna go from cheapest yeah. to most expensive. expensive. Yeah. Relatively though, because we're still keeping this list at under 15,000. Under 12,000 even. See? Because we got your back. Oh yeah, guys, and to mention, this video is not sponsored by Canon. Yes. It's just that Canon makes pretty good cameras. Canon makes, it's Especially, also not sponsored by Apple. It's, just, <laughs> it's my laptop. So. Canon makes great cameras for the beginners. Yes. So that's why every camera in this list is beginner. And it's also cameras that we've used personally. Exactly. Not that we've used every camera in the industry, but these cameras that we've used yeah. and we think they'd be great for a beginner YouTuber just like you. So tell your mom that Sibu and Wasabi said you must buy these cameras depending on how much your mom is planning to spend on them. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the first one, what's the first one? The first one, we have the Canon 2000D. Mm. The Canon 2000D comes in at 5,600 Rand. Ah, uh, the pros, this is the cheapest camera I think yes. you can buy, in my humble yes. opinion. Yeah. It's a, it's a combo camera, you can do picture yeah. and you can do video. Yeah. And yeah. it can do 1080, that's all you need, 1080p, that's, that's like HD, that's, yeah. that's yeah. pretty much all you need for YouTube. Um, um, there's people who might fight you and say, hey, what about 4K, but we don't really watch 4K videos in we South Africa. We do not watch 4K videos, probably because your laptop can't even take 4K, your mm. TV probably can't even take 4K, so we don't really watch uh, 4K cameras. So as long as you have 1080 guys, I think you're yes. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, some of the pros is cheap, like I said, yeah. you can change the lenses, interchangeable mm -hmm. lenses, mm -hmm. because Changing your lens, guys, believe it or not, can take your camera from here yeah. to here. Yeah. 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 I haven't been to church in a while. Yeah. But yeah, interchangeable lenses. Yeah. Uh, so you can change the lens, buy better lenses, get better performance. A lightweight camera, yeah. it's only yeah. 450 grams, I think. Uh, here are some prawns. Hey, prawns. <laughs> Here are some cons on the Canon 2000D. I think the one that really touched me in my studio the most is the fact that the screen does not flip out. If I had my camera here, I would show you, but I literally, both my cameras are being borrowed by other YouTuber friends. Mm. I'm a good friend, okay? Mm. One of the worst things that you can have in a camera as a vlogger is not being able to see yourself. So I remember what I used to do. Can I tell you what I used to do in my old videos? So in my room back at home, I used to set the camera, hold it down so that it focuses, mm -hmm. put something where I'm going to go stand while I'm holding the camera, and I focus, oh, and then I would stop the focus, yeah. and then I'd slowly, where okay. everything was, and I'd stand there, and then yeah, I'd start yeah. the video. Because I could not see myself, I did not know where I was, the focus also, but it was all just a mess. So you want a camera with a flippable screen, exactly. but if you cannot afford it, this still works, guys. You can make it work. I made it work for the first two years. Put this camera in front of a mirror. That's what most people actually do. Um, I learned that from Evelyn from the internet, but by that time I already had a thing. A flippable screen. Yeah, I wish I had learned that before. But yeah, that's the one. The second one, it has no mic input. So all the sound that you're going to hear from the camera is going to come from the camera okay. itself. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't put in a mic, unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that. Either you're gonna have to use your phone, buy, a, is it a lavalier mic? Yeah, lavalier. Lavalier. <laughs> put it on yourself, put it in your phone, it'd be like that sometimes. You know what, we make things work. For the price, for what, 5,600? Yeah. It's worth it. Last but not least, something that is not a complete train smash once again, is that it has, really average autofocus mm -hmm. um it has nine point which is like 
on the, on the lower side of the scale um, but normally we don't need autofocus if you're doing sit down videos you're sitting like this put it in one setting so that it finds you here and focuses here and then you take it from there you the only stress mean? is gonna stress you it's, it's vlogging yeah, it's, but yeah. you're probably not gonna vlog because now it doesn't have a flip screen it doesn't so yeah. ish, for 5.6 though guys you know you have to lose some things yeah. the next camera that we're gonna mention guys is the Canon 200D yeah. in America it's called the SL2 I think the 200D is a dope lightweight camera very small camera it's smaller than most uh, DSLR is in Canon's range. It's basically what 8,100 rand. 8,000. Still cheap because you get so much in that little body. Yeah. So it comes uh, with Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. So you can take a picture, take a video, send it directly to your phone. Exactly. Listen, if you're on, if you're on your phone, if you add an event or whatever, you take a quick picture, you want to post it on Instagram. Now you have a high-res picture to post on Instagram because it goes straight from your camera to your phone. Another thing, it has a flip-up screen. Yes. You need a flip-up screen. We oh. told you why you need a flip-up screen. Because this camera is so light enough that you can vlog with it, yeah. right? And if you're doing sit-down videos like this, the fact that you can be able to flip the screen around mm -hmm. and see yourself is amazing. Yeah. It will yeah. save you. You will see if you're in the frame, you're in focus and stuff like that. So the flip-out screen is amazing. Yeah. And yeah. it's easy to use. Our Canon implemented this easy graphic yeah. menu style on this camera. So it shows you what things in the menu mean yeah. with pictures exactly. and graphics. You know how people don't like books without pictures mm. and stuff like that. So the complicated menu doesn't have pictures, yeah. but this, the menu that they impl implemented in this Canon 200D has pictures and stuff like that. So it's pretty much relatively yeah. easy to use. So yeah. it's a perfect beginner DSLR only for 8,100 Rand, the Canon 200D. Boom, and I want to be honest with you, there's not, there's, there aren't any cons that we could find. Especially um, in this... In the range. In the range. In the range of this camera, mm. there aren't any cons we could find. Um, obviously, the better, the, the more expensive camera you get, the better quality is going to better be. But for that range, for that camera itself as a unit, there are no cons. Exactly. And guys, by no cons, we basically mean... Uh, you're, you're starting out on YouTube. Yeah. This is what the list is for. You're starting out on YouTube. Uh, as long as you have a flip out screen, mm -hmm. the image quality is amazing. Yeah. It takes pictures and video, 1080p. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not much more that you would need. Yeah. There's not much more that you need. So that's why the 200D has really little to none cons yeah. Yeah. for a beginner YouTuber such as yourself. Yeah. But moving on. Moving on. Just a bit more expensive. Just a young, just miss groceries for one month. One of my favorite cameras a mirrorless camera from uh, Canon. Yeah. It's the what? It's the M50 and it's going for 9,080. I'm by 80 Rand here. Because <laughs> we also don't understand what Canon means at 80 Rand. For. So 9,080. 9,080. Is a fairly good price. I think it's a good price. Uh, my first camera that I bought was just a little bit more expensive than that. But we'll get to that one very, very soon. Exactly. The Canon M50 is a remarkable camera. The size, it's tiny, it's a little baby. It gives you the idea of you having a G7X essentially. Yeah, yeah. It's a very little, very little camera. It has interchangeable lenses once again. With that little camera, it has interchangeable lenses. So you can lenses. change those lenses. Articulating screen, if you don't know what articulating is, is what we're talking about. Flip it's screen. Flippable. Yeah. It's just people call it articulating sometimes. Also, I am so shook to tell you this. Mm -hmm. It forms in 4K. 4K? I do not have a single camera that can go 4K. <laughs> he obviously does this. No, Sony is on Anyway guys, <laughs> 4K yeah. the thing is, you're not going to use it that much. Yeah. You know why people use 4K mm. uh, for if... <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> guys, if 4K, the, resolu the resolution of 4K, if it's, I'm going to explain it in layman's terms yeah. right now. If 4K the resolution is this big, right, and 1080p is this big, yeah. you, sh you film in 4K because you know what, when you're editing, you're going to crop in mm. and don't, you don't want to lose any quality. Yeah. So you film in 4K and it's like, okay, I'm going to get as much data in this picture yeah. so that later I'm going to crop into 1080. Mm -hmm. But 4K is hard to edit because you need a, a serious system. Yeah. A serious system because that's why I'm, I don't recommend you shooting in 4K if you don't have a system to match it, like to easily process 4K. Yeah. But the fact that the M50 has it wild is already a huge uh, benefit to, yeah. to, to, to you, to, to any filmmaker, anyone. One day you're gonna step up to, to, uh, to 4K, but also in the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just thinking like, exactly. well, at, at the end of the day, one, as much as it's a pro, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need it. We're just saying it there, but you will probably almost never use it unless you're gonna suddenly become a filmmaker. Overnight. Exactly, so yeah. it's a camera you can grow with. Mm -hmm. The M50 is definitely a camera you can grow with. Yeah. You start at a 1080, yeah. as long as you have the articulating screen, maybe one day you'll be like, 
hey, let me buy more lenses for this body. Yeah. Let me start shooting in 4K and stuff like that. So it's a beautiful camera. Other cameras in the M range, the, yeah. I like the M range from Canon. Mm -hmm. You have the M6 yeah. and the M100. M100 see, we actually is very cheap. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper than the 2000D. Okay. It's like, I think 4,000 to 5,000 mm -hmm. Rand. Uh, but now it's a pretty basic camera. Yeah. But the M6, is a great camera too, yeah. along the lines of the M50. So M50 and M6, yeah. think of those cameras. Yeah. Around the prices of 9,000 and almost 10, but 9.5 yeah. around there. Yeah. By the way, we'll um, link you to the shops that you can buy these cameras at the bottom in the description. In the description, make sure you read it, please, because we put a lot of effort in right? Exactly. What are the cons of the M50? Oh yeah, the cons of the M50, let me see. Mm, it relatively has a bad grip, but yeah. that's only because it's a small it's body. It's a small body. Very it, small. It'd be body. like that. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, the you, you were talking about the lens, right? The, the long. Yeah, the lenses. So there's literally when you when you normally when you zoom, mm, you easy. can just do it on a yeah. camera. But for this one, you have to press the switch which unlocks it so that you can zoom, which is a mission. Sometimes you want to be on the ball and you now you must be pressing buttons in order to zoom. The only button you should be pressing is to take the picture. Exactly. And guys, um, this camera is from the Canon family so you can use other lenses yeah. from the Canon range like uh, from its bigger brothers like the 800D or yes. the 5D and stuff like that but you'd have to buy an adapter Yo. so the, it's not the same mount it's not the same mount system you have to buy another adapter which it's a headache dude. it's a headache it's a headache you already spent 9,000 rand yeah. so now you but you know if we ha guys you have to invest yeah at the end of the day you have to invest back exactly. in yourself so the next camera we're gonna uh, recommend for you guys is the camera that uh, in the range that me and C we have been using. Yeah. My first camera I think that I bought, it was a Geo's first camera too. Yeah, my, no, same, it was my second camera. Second camera. But it was my first one that I like used and I was like, this is you. This is exactly, yeah. So it's the Canon 800D, mm. comes in at 10,000 RAM. And it's this one is right in the middle. Exactly. All your fave YouTubers probably started with these cameras. This is the this is the range that you should be buying. Exactly. This is the range. If you're a little bit broken, that's okay. Buy the cheaper ones. If you have more money, go for the one that we're gonna talk about right at the end. But this is a compromise. This, this is, is a, a good compromise. The perfect camera yeah. in this beginner trial phase. Yeah. Because I started with the 750. I started with the 700. So it goes, it went from uh, 500, yeah. even four, there was a 400, I think. Mm -hmm. 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, until we got to the 800D, which is Canon's latest release. Yeah. Flippable screen, mm -hmm. um, input uh, mic jack, so you yeah. can put a microphone yeah. in this. I've had this camera since 2016. Mm -hmm. Before I had this camera, I was borrowing cameras. Which cameras was I borrowing from friends? 700Ds. Yeah. Everybody uses 750 or 700Ds. If you want a camera that has a nice price, that also makes you look good. And for me, I think I waited till December. Yeah. And you don't have to wait till December. But usually they are nice bundles. For that 10,000 that you can go get the camera now, I got the camera with three lenses and a camera bag. See? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, guys, like, Here's a word of advice. If you can go to um, secondhand pages, especially yeah. on Facebook or, or know a friend who's selling something like a 600D mm -hmm. or 650D, I recommend you buy that camera because you'll probably find it for 4,000 or 5,000 yeah. rand if you're lucky. Because that's still pretty much a good camera. It's it a flip screen, yeah. it's a great vlogging camera, it's a great sit down camera. Yeah. But if you have the money to buy a brand new camera, consider the 700D, 750 and the 800D. Those are great cameras there. Yeah. They have it all. They have Canon's world famous dual auto pixel focus. Yeah. So the fo the autofocus is amazing. Autofocus is amazing. With that being said, yeah. At least with my seven hundred, yeah. The autofocus worked perfectly. Sure. The only issues it made a noise. Oh, so yes. that I never used it. It does have some because noises, yeah. like you can move around and it will catch you, yeah. but you, all you hear is zzz, 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 I know while it's mean. trying to catch you. Um, so as a YouTuber, I didn't really need it, so it wasn't like, oh no, it makes a noise, like I never used it anyway. But if you want to be vlogging with it, which is what I did sometimes, yeah. if, you, if you're leaving it on autofocus, it's going to make such a noise that you won't be able to hear yourself speak. So you have to keep, like you have to make sure there's a distance and you don't move from that distance. Yeah. And all of these cameras that we're mentioning in here, guys, come with a standard um, standard kit lens. Yes. So we including the price of the kit yeah. lens bundled. Which is usually a 18 to 55. 18 to 55, which yeah. is such a, a wide range, range that yeah. it's very wide, 18 yeah. and close at 55. Yeah. So it's it's that's the basic Canon kit yeah. lens that everyone has when they buy their first camera. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to the Coupe de Gras, guys. Coupe de Gras. 
the last camera sounds like a really good pasta it is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the camera that you should buy yeah. if you have the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have the money, if you have the if, if you want the best of the of the beginner range. Yeah. I think this camera even qualifies for mid range. I think it does. I 100% think it qualifies range, but mid -range. for mid range. You you on that if people see you with the 77, yeah. they're like, "Okay, you but, but you're taking it seriously. Serious. You're taking it serious." But basically guys, the last number camera in this beginner phase mm -hmm. of cameras is the Canon 77D. Yeah. It's 11,300 rand. I know that seems steep, mm. but that's you getting a bang for your buck. Yeah, you this are. camera, guys, is literally a great camera. It's yeah. it, it's the bridge between beginner and professional. Yes, it's there in the yes. it's there in the mid range camera. Mm. It's the little brother of the eighty D mm. and the seventy D. It still has a microphone jack, flippable screen, yeah. dual pixel autofocus from Canon. All of everything all that you might need, guys. It has a top LCD screen. If you have never seen those cameras nothing makes you look more professional listen exactly a lot of people don't even know what it means but they just see it and automatically they're like this person must be a professional <laughs> it has a top lcd screen which is really cool because then you can see your settings on top of the camera if you don't know that's what the lcd screen is basically this is the coupe de gras the 77d if you have the top if you have the top thousand rand you know, or what is it specifically? It's eleven thousand three hundred rand. Yeah. If you have that money, go get the seventy-seven D. Yeah. If you have a little bit less, mm -hmm. eight hundred D, seven fifty, seven hundred D. You know. But this is basically the list yeah. of cameras that you should buy or consider buying yeah. as a YouTuber. But that that is it from us, guys. That is it. We hope this list w uh, helps and yeah. uh, puts you on your journey on yeah. becoming one of the greatest South African YouTubers of all time. I know there's high hopes and high because like, you have to get above mm. the two of us. Which yeah, I, it's pretty impossible to get above me, but it's a lot of work. That's I mean, I'm above him, but you then know. you have to meet the final boss. Like I am pretty much the one who started it all. So yeah, that is true. He created the YouTube logo itself. I basically created YouTube.com. That day. oh wow, yes. while you were in grade six, <laughs> while you were in grade six. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name has been OK Wasabi. I'm from Foster Ross, 1475. The hood where skinny niggas die, and it was a multiply, but the clouds are too close to the ground, so it all to the sky. And I wasn't alone. I was out here with Simon Banza from the, you know what? I don't even want to know it. And you have been watching Arcade, aka Food Tech. See you again next week. Till again next week. Arcade, Food Tech, ZA.